Okay, we're playing Neil's Grand Delicious again. I'm just gonna keep playing basic stuff. Knight of three. Maybe I'll play Knight of three B three this time. Will you stream your below three thousand? I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, D five. Um, let's play E three. Okay, I play B3 this time. D4 is obviously completely solid. Okay, good there. Don't want to trade, but I, I don't know what this is. So I'm going to play C3 and D4. And just play chess, basically. I mean, I had a game against Joe Bob and something like this, too. Play D4, of course. Now, I'm guessing I can play g3 here. I think I'm just going to develop my bishop normally, though, this time. Just bishop e2, castles. Keep this very, very simple. Very low-key chill. Nothing super exciting. Okay, it goes there. I can obviously take and play b4. But I think I'm just going to castle. Again, play this very, very simple chess. Nothing very exciting at all. Okay, he goes bishop f5. Now, I can take and play b4 here. I still think knight bd2 is correct, though. And I can play b4 next move. I can also take and go knight d4. I guess I'll take. Why not? Good motion. Okay, now I can play b4, b5. Hmm. Question is, do I flick in knight h4 or not at some point? Because if I play knight h4, bishop e4 takes d e4. So let's go b4 and b5. Don't really want to play a4. b6 is actually a move here. Well, queen b3. This looks fine too to hit the pawn. A4, I just take, I think, and then go back. Come on. Not happy with this position either, though, just to be clear for everybody who's wondering. Okay, it goes there, logical. I think I have to rotate the knights somehow. Yeah, knight c8 I expect. Now the question is, do I actually have time to go b6? I don't really think I do, but I'm going to play it anyway, which probably is a bad way of rationalizing it, but I'm going to do it. I just assume if I can get knight d3, rook b1 or something, I'm probably okay here. Goes a4, so I go back. I don't know if a4 is good either, because it creates a weakness on a3, but it also creates a weakness on a4 too. So I go here, of course, guard the pawn. Oh no, he wants a draw. <laughs> oh my, my, oh, that's just disgusting. He just wants a draw here, really? <laughs> that is actually disgusting. The question is, do I do I mean, if I go for a win, I lose. I mean, I have no chance of winning. If I make the draw, I realistically have very little chance of winning either. Ah, what, did, what to do? Um, I'm going to try to play on. I mean, I don't know. It's like I can take the draw and like have no chance of winning or I can go for it. Probably it's not going to work out, but it seems like the right choice. Uh, 
I mean, this has to be right. If I don't do this, what am I even playing for? Like, if I lose the game, so be it. But I, I can't not go for it. Yeah, he also knows that, like, I can't take it. Like, he knows that, like, the whole point is hype and all that other stuff. So, like, I actually don't really have a choice either. Thing is, I'm getting a knight to d4, though, which... That hangs f6. Before b6 takes... I think I have to go queen b4, though. b6 I just take and drop back. If I can get my knife to d4, I mean, I can't lose. That's basically what I'm banking on. I'm banking on the knight getting to d4 and not being able to lose. Let's just go here. Um, I got to move though. Okay, let's go here. Got to get, get the knife on d4. Very important that I put this knife here. Okay, so he goes there. So now I go here, put pressure on the pawn. I'll re put the queen on c3. Not really worried about h4 actually. So let's go here and reroute my knight maybe. Hmm. Oh, not finding the right moves. I just don't know what I'm supposed to play for here. Is that just a blunder? Oh no, he's oh wait. Wait, he, he misplayed this. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Slow down, no need to panic. I blunder, but he missed it. Ship c1, queen c8, rook c6, knight c6, yes. I have a pass pawn, this must be winning, no? Wait a second. There we go. There we go. We got the win. Tough game. I, I was better, but is this... A oh, I'm not better. Wait. Oh, I'm just not better, even though I have the great pony. Just zeros. Wow. Okay, we got the win. I'll take it, obviously. Six out of seven. We keep going. Polish fighter on seven out of seven. The dude um, rocking and rolling so far today. Yeah. Good thing I play, well, I mean, if I don't play on, like, I can draw the game there, but if I draw the game there, like, I'm not winning the tournament, let's be honest. And if I'm not playing for first place, what, what am I really playing for at the end of the day? I mean, just being honest, what, I mean, what am I really playing for? All right, we're playing Fandarine. Okay, we're on six. I assume he needs to win, so I'm going to actually play solid here versus insane. I think, no, I'm going to play insane. No, I, I should just, just trust myself, play insane. I could play solid too, but let's just trust my, my instincts. Have I ever been to Brazil before? I have, yes. One time. No no F6 mouse slip on move one. Yeah, that'd be very sad. Target the pawn, we can trade obviously. Okay, I have to go back. B4 is a big threat here. He okay, plays d5. Strange move. Um, maybe I play c5 here or something. I'm a little confused by d5. Oh, it might be a very good move. Um, what am I doing? I, I gotta come up with something fast here, actually. I'm gonna play e5. Place takes. I think I'll just take and go bishop e7. It's a strange position. I'm gonna just play an end game. I'm probably marginally worse, but I don't think I should be losing. Wow, G4. I guess? This is very confusing. I guess I'm going to now put my bishop on this other diagonal. I'm really confused as to what's going on here. 
No idea what's happening. It goes g5. I mean, d6 has to be right to develop my knights. I have a good bishop on c5. Bishop on b7 is not great, but it's playable. Um, do I go knight e7 or knight? I think I'm just going to go knight d7 first. And then probably knight e7 and maybe castles. Let's go knight e7. See if queen f3 or something. This could be slightly problematic. He does have queen f3. I can go bishop c8. I can also just play knight b6 maybe. I can also go c6. I have to think here for a second. Let's think about this. Cannot castle, of course, because then there's a lolly on g7. Rook f8 is kind of interesting here. I'm gonna do it. Cause my idea is just to play F6 or F5. Very tricky position to judge. I could even take with a king here for memes, but I won't. I actually think I may be doing completely fine here. He plays bishop e3 to trade. Now, I can play f5 here. En passant takes, takes rook f6. Can also trade. I can also go like knight c8. Can also castle. I'm going to go knight c8, knight b6. Try to develop. Maybe swing the queen over to e7 later on. Oh no, I think I just blundered. Or no, I didn't. I didn't. Almost. Um, I have b4 at least. I have b4. Very important that I have b4 here. Why did I do that? Why did I play knight c8? It was so stupid. Just trade and go knight c8 and knight b6 and queen e7. It's just completely fine. He's getting low on time though, which is good. Takes. Now the question is do I play b4 or trade? Do I trade or play b4? Big question. Um, b4. I trust my instinct that b4 is right to take the pawn on g5. Okay. Do I trade again or do I take? Very tricky. Takes, takes, 94, f3. Maybe now I... Hmm. 94, 94, 94, 94, 94. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, because now he's losing multiple pawns. There's knight f2 and castles. There's also just castles. I think I can castle. If I can't castle, I lose. But I assume I can, so I am going to. Do I take f2 or f6? I guess I take f6. The smoke is clearing slowly but surely. Okay, so I take... Do I take with a bishop or not? I think I, I, think I do. It takes a6, which I think is a slight mistake, but it doesn't like lose the game or anything. I need to kick this knight out of um, out of uh, e5. Knight e4 takes takes rook e4 rook e8 f4 f6 rook c4. Not c6. This is where I need to come up with a good move fast. Oh, come on. Stop spazzing. Just find a move. Ah, what is that? Just spazzed again. Oh, I had knight g8. That's what I missed. I had knight g8. Wait, he goes there. Wait, okay, I think.
Oh, I gotta move. What the heck? How am I so low on time again? How am I so low on time? I just look and I have one second. I thought I had like five seconds there. What the heck? I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it's jeez, what's wrong with me? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I'd like I thought I'd like five seconds, then I like I I see one second like out of nowhere there. Jeez. Uh I was probably better somewhere somewhere or not better, but I thought I was kind of okay around here. Yeah, here I should have played knight g8. This is the move that I mentioned after I played Bishop 8. Knight g8. I guess rook d6 is technically best, but knight g8 is what I should have played here. Yeah. Terrible. I mean, a draw is fine, but like, yeah. The, I just like, I look and I'm like, wait, one second, like, what the heck? Like, yeah. Okay, we're playing Jobava. Um, oh, let's play something, something. Okay, Jobava's on seven, so I guess if, in terms of like cashing the event, this is a good pairing. Oops. I almost slipped that, but. Let's play d4. He's gonna play like bishop g4. Is that what he plays? I forget what he does. Let's play rook b1. C5 is obviously the whole point behind rook b1. I played this in the candidates in 2016 against Vessel and Topolov. Yeah, g5 is not the right move. I know that. Black's supposed to play a5. Although, I think I had this against Jobava somewhere. Yeah, I think he played some g5, g6 stuff um, before. I mean, a4 has to be right, because I'm playing for the whole queen side. Okay, now I can play g4. I, I mean, I know that... I think the computer likes g4 somewhere in here. But I'm too weak and too human to probably do it and get away with it, so... If I'm too weak and too human to get away with it, then I can play g3. I can also play f3. I, I think g4 is correct, though. I, I, I recall that, like, the computer likes g4, and I, I don't remember why. Maybe it's not this exact position, but I know there's a position where the computer likes it. Now, do I play h3 or not? I think I should play h3, just because now I can reroute my bishop to, like, d3. I don't have to go to g2. So he does castle. Okay. Do I go to g2 or e2? Not ob not actually clear cut, but I'm gonna go to g2. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 92. Oh, did I just wonder some rook a2 thingy? I did. What the heck? <sighs> just not my day. Let's go here and. Something bad is probably going to happen. I just forgot there was rook a2. I was going to play knight e2 and then I forgot all about rook a2. Okay, rook a3. Oh, rook a3 might be a good move. Oh, wait, no, rook a3, wait, but now... Actually, now I can go knight e2. Because rook a2, I just castle. And queen a5, I have bishop d2, and I can just castle. I think he made a slight mistake. Mistake is too strong a word to use, but it's... It's a very slight mistake by Joe Bob. It doesn't mean like I'm doing great or anything. Plays queen a5, so I have bishop d2 here. bc6, bc6, like... 
I mean, Bishop d2 seems like the right move. If it's a blunder, it's a blunder, and that's life. But I, I don't see why it's a blunder right off. So if, it's not, if I don't see why it's a blunder, I'm just going to play it. Yeah, okay. Of course I trade, I trade, and I go here. It's rook a2, logical move, but probably not the best move, actually. Knight g3, knight e4. Knight c3, rook a3, king d2, knight e4. No, not great. Knight c1 is... Oh, wait, no, knight c1, rook e3. What the heck? Ay, ay, ay. Missing everything. Ay, ay, ay. What the heck was that? <laughs> Guess let's go here, then. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I've got knight c3. Wait, I've got knight c3, which I think he just missed. Or... No, he missed it. Okay, we're back in business now. We're back in business. In fact, I might just be winning here. Ay -ay -ay. <sighs> Not seeing anything at all today, but luckily he blundered. And his blunder was kind of severe. My, my blunders were pretty minor. But his blunder was actually very severe, and I think he's just losing now. Yeah. Mr. Princess is a very poor connection, yeah. Okay, rook a3. Oh, wait, king d2 is knight c5, so I have to be careful how I do this. Knight d1, knight f6. Still not trivial, actually. King d2, knight c5. King c2, maybe? Ninety four rook b three. I was I, I don't think this is the safest way to play it, but I think it's the right way to play it. I think it's the right way to play it. it this, this feels right. I could have made the check first, I guess, but I think I want rook a one. Ninety four. So first of all, I have check. Bishop f eight knight. Bishop f eight rook b three. Or do I take and play? Okay, rook b3 is fine. Knight e4 is fine. I think I'm going to go check. That, I think, loses, though. Take 6, h4. Yeah, I think this just wins. h4, and he's just getting mated. Because the double stack kills him here. He doesn't have time to play g5. Yeah, we're going to get the win. Or maybe not. Wait, he still has a move. Wait. He has a move, which I didn't even see. Wait, how did I... Wait, what? Oh, did I have rook b8? Oh, no. Oh, no. I miss... I got I have to try to win this. What the heck did I just do to this? That's a mistake the way go here. Nothing is coming easy today. I'm finding ways to mess up every game. Oh what the heck? Now I just And now I just threw this game. It's a draw. Just can't get it done today. <sighs> I just, every game, I just, I mess it up. <sighs> Unbelievable.
This is a draw. Unbelievably bad. I mean, I can't believe what I just did. This was so winning. This is so winning here. Yeah, Rook G8. I mean, I, I saw it and I didn't... Ugh. Oh, but I can also take and go Rook G8. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, to not win this is really bad. Yeah, it's not my day. Dude, I'll draw this game. Yeah, it's totally not my day. I mean, totally not my day. That's disappointing. Yeah, my, my time management has been terrible, yeah. My time management has been bad in the last couple. All the title twos I've played from here. Yeah. No, I mean, I should just move quickly and no, no second thoughts. Just move quickly and don't get low on time. Because when I get low on time, I'm making bad decisions left and right. I'm making horrible decisions. Oh, did I have H6 there? I think I had H6 instead of taking on with a pawn, right? Yeah, I just I just had H6, which is just winning. I think. Okay, whatever. Still can get to 9. Is he going to play E5 like Wesley? No, he's not. Okay, so let's just play King's Indian. I'm going to move fast here and probably mess this up, but nobody cares. Um... V Vacation is not conducive to competition. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just like time time usage decision making in every game has been absolutely atrocious. Two of the pawns, probably wrong. I drop back. I go to f7. I mean, I assume I have to go to c6 here. Um, I could trade, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go here. Maybe knight f8. Uh, I was going to play like this. Okay, so I'll go knight f8, bishop e6, of course. Basically try and just play fast in this game. Play fast and bad. That's my plan. Why 720? Because I'm on my laptop. The connection is not always great when I'm when I'm traveling. Looking to play f5 here. Okay, I go f5, so I cover g5. This actually is looking very good for me suddenly. I usually play slow and bad, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to play quickly this game. Now let's see what he does. I actually really like my position here. I think it's just very good. What he does. If I win two games, I can still probably get to third. Although I have bad tie breaks, obviously. Yeah, like I'm nowhere to be found on a seven. Like I'm at the very bottom of a seven out of nine. So, I mean, F4 is a move. H5 is also a move. I'm just going to play H5. Again, I'm just going to play fast and bad. I don't want to waste time thinking. Could have played A5 too, maybe. But this looks very scary. Okay, now I'm gonna play a5 here. Because now I have four e4s, I assume. Maybe not. B5. Okay, e4 and i4 is no good. H4, maybe? Don't know if it's good, but I'm gonna play it anyway because I don't wanna think. Can I take, of course? Okay, knight a4 doesn't look right to me somehow. Somehow I need to get my pieces over to the king's side. Maybe knight g6? I think knight g6 is good, because I can play rook d8. And now I still have e4 or knight e5 ideas lurking. Trip c4 looks wrong. Maybe not bigly wrong, but it looks kind of wrong somehow. I'm just not sure how it's wrong. Wait a second, okay. E4, knight, E4, knight, E4. Can also take it and play knight, E5. Knight, E5. 
Uh, again, this is where like I've, my time management has been really bad. And I'm trying hard to just not panic here, but I'm probably going to panic anyway. Trade him Bishop F6 maybe? No, I think I'll... Hmm. Just go here, keep it simple. There's a4, which again does not, I feel like there's gotta be something for me here. So I play e4, knight four, takes six, knight, still is knight of five there, which is very annoying. So what am I doing? Let's go here. Okay, it goes there. Okay, but now I think that's a mistake. So, I've, oh, I thought I had f4, but I don't. Okay, so I guess I go e4 then. <clears throat> Knight d4, f4. Oh, I don't have f4. What am I doing? This isn't what I want to do either, but... Hmm. <clears throat> My king on h7 is terrible now too, but... So the key here for me is just not to get low on time. I'm just going to play fast and whatever happens, happens, but I refuse to get low on time. If I, I mean, if I can help it, obviously. It's not just a blunder. It looks like a blunder to me, but what do I know? Not a lot about chess, but something. That's just a blunder. <laughs> yeah. And now if I have to use time, it's clear enough that it should, should just work out. Queen c3, okay, so of course I should take. Key here is not to flood this. Still very tricky though, actually. What the heck? Let's go here and trade with the rook, I guess. Ef3 or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting very close to throwing this game, too. Of course, he's got this, too. Here. He's got no time though. Rookie one should be winning. There we go. Game over. Even this one, as you see, not not easy to win. Actually, yeah. A6, knight, c8, yeah. Or, yeah, c2 and I have knight, c8, yeah. There we go. Not a good game, but it's a win. Every game today has been a real, real slog. Every single game. It's been really tough. We get another win, 8 out of 10. Okay, so I am actually, I have a chance maybe. The latency is too bad. I mean, I don't doubt that I'm dealing with a little bit of lag too, but it's I, it's not obviously noticeable to me. Yeah, every game today has been really brutal. Every game.
I think, I mean, every game, I haven't had like any easy games today. Every game has been really messy. Hawaii is not conducive to chess. Yeah, no kidding, obviously. Goes out saying. Fourth at the end. I mean, if I win the next, oh wait, sorry, no, this is this last round. What am I doing? This is the last round. I was like, I thought I had two rounds. I only have one round, so I can't get the second. Duh. Um, but if I win the last round, my tie breaks are terrible. I mean, we'll see. Tie breaks are bad, but we'll see. Um, I can qualify. I think top five get paid. Something like that. Top five around there. But I mean, at least my tie breaks have improved significantly. So I think if I win, I could get to third. Be I, I mean, if Dayak doesn't win, of course, I get the wrong pairing in the last round. I, I get Polish Fighter, which is the worst possible pairing here because he's glad to draw and just clinch first place. So I have to play like a Maniac and hope it works. Yeah, I don't want to play like a Maniac, but I have to. Let's play B5. Okay, plays G4. I guess I'll go Knight B6, so I have Knight B C4 and B4 both here. Hmm, let's see what happens. If he takes on Jesus, I might actually take with an F pawn here, which is kind of weird, but I think it makes a little bit of sense. So he goes Bishop D3. Okay, the question is, do I play Queen E7? Do I play something else? No, Queen E7 allows H6, and then I'm in real trouble. So, how do I do this? Okay, I'm thinking, again, I'm thinking too long. It's exactly what I told myself I would not do. And I'm doing it yet again. So let's go here on Queen E7. He goes queen f2, which is definitely not the best move. I think I think queen f2 is a mistake by him. Not a serious mistake, but I think he was close to winning with something like takes and queen h2. Because now I'm going to get castled, and at least I have play. I mean, I have play. It doesn't mean it's great or anything, but I have play. Rook h3? What? Wait, what does rook h3 do? I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna go c5 anyway. I mean, maybe he wants to line up a double stack. Some kind of weird, like, right triangle idea, but it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. I don't really believe in it at any rate. Now, if he takes on g6, I also have a tough decision between fg or hg. I don't know which one to take with. Bishop f1 doesn't look right either. Okay, do I play rook c8 here? Do I castle? My assumption is I should castle just to get out of the danger. But then there's queen h2 somewhere in here, which I don't like either. If I'm really playing to win though, I should probably go b4 or rook c8. I'm up on clock, why am I panicking? I think I'm just going to play rook c8 and trust my instincts that I'm okay here. I mean, I have to win the game anyway. If I don't win the game, I'm I, I'm getting nothing. So if it's bad, it's bad, but that's life. Okay, so he takes, which again, now puts me in a very tough spot. because I can take either way, and I don't know which way to take. Okay, don't think too long here. Don't really want to play hg, but I think I kind of have to. Still up on clock, which is important. Go here, takes, I just take. Bishop b5, I take and go e5, I believe. I also have rook c6 and dc5, which should be fine too. Place king b1, which is very passive. Not a bad move, but passive at the very least. Oh, he's got bishop h6, which I didn't see. Goes to f2, which I also really don't understand at all. Let's go here. 
Okay, Queen H7 makes sense. No actual threats though after Queen H8 and Queen Queen F8 and Queen H8. I actually really like my position because these knights are jumping already. Like I have knight a4, which is a big threat. And knight c1, almost the only move, I think. Um I feel like I should have something here. Takes takes and maybe d5. Queen h8 is a safe way, but after queen h8, I can't really claim any advantage. Knight b2, king b2, knight a4, king a1, knight c3, rook d2. Don't see it. I think I have to just trust my instinct and play the safe line here. And go d5. Um, he... Now I can take with a rook, but I don't know. I assume I should just take with the knight. Go d5, takes. Oh, takes, so I have queen c5 maybe? Maybe I have queen c5. Check, king e7, check. Check, king d6. No, it's no good, so let's just take. I mean, I'm probably marginally better, but it's not, it's not a lot. It's very little here. He was queen h2, which... Ah, uh, he wants to play knight b3 or something. Let's go a5 here. Oh, did I... Oh, did I have queen g7 there? Oh, uh, maybe I did. Um, it was f4. Play queen c5, maybe? So I'm threatening knight a3. I have a4, but I don't like it. This should be winning for me here. Let's see. A3 is strong. It's not best. Yes, we get the win. Yes. Yeah, flag him. See, like here I play fast and I actually play somewhat decently. Ah, shoot, but Dayak won. I was hoping he would lose so I could get to third. Ack. It's another fourth place finish. It's, I mean, I, I I I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make of the event. Um And Jeffrey's gonna win. Jeffrey's gonna win because I Jeffrey's gonna win. Yeah, Jeffrey's gonna win the event because he was 1.25 and he won his game and and um <laughs> Jeffrey's gonna win the event. I don't know how to feel about it. Cause like that last game is really great. Like this was the best game I played by far in the entire event. But um, but it's like I'm happy about this game, but I didn't play well. No, no, I have no chance because I'm I, I have 12 tiebreaker points less than Dak. I don't care like what I do. There's no chance. Yeah. And, and Jeffrey gets first because 1.25 he will overcome that. So Duda just lost like an extra 250 dollars by by losing. Yeah, so I finish in fourth place. Jeffrey does finish in first place. Like I said, he he ends up he ends up like that win was 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 very unfortunate for um for for Duda. I finished in the second place. Nine, so I finished fourth place, got 150 bucks. I'm gonna call a day. We'll send the raid over to Jeffrey, who does win title Tuesday, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.